Is it okay if I just don't keep up with the Joneses? Is that an option? Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Paul and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the film Keeping Up With The Joneses. Now this is another film which was apparently delayed for uh, a couple months, at least it wasn't a year this time, so that's a good thing. Uh, but this one was originally supposed to come out back in April, got delayed to now. So let's talk about how this thing ended up being. The general premise for this film is that we have Zach Galifianakis and Isla Fisher. They are this really boring average suburban couple when their kids decide to go off to camp they have the whole summer to themselves and so what do they do with their newfound freedom? Nothing really all that exciting. But when their new neighbors John Hamm and Gal Gadot they move in next door they see oh hey this is what we could be these are exciting people we should get to know them and then the more they get to know them the more suspicious they become of their actual reason for being in this neighborhood and scenes show us that there's more to them than meets the eye and they end up being spies and there's this whole spy adventure thing which happens later. The sure between all the actors was good. I enjoyed seeing them all on screen together. Gal Gadot and Isla Fisher worked good as a couple, as the John Hamm and Gal Gadot, and then them all intermingling amongst each other, also fun to see. Uh, there are also very few funny moments in this film, but the ones that do work, work really well. I was laughing quite a few times just throughout the film, uh, but not really a whole lot overall. And there are action scenes as this is a spy movie because it's kind of what you expect. There are really, it, it's a good chemistry between you got John Hamm and Gal Gadot who know what they're doing. They're firing guns, they're taking people out. And you have just Zach Galifianakis and Nisla Fisher just cowering in the corner because that's what you would do if you did not know how to fight with a gun whatsoever. So that stuff worked fine. But this concept is so overused. You have this suburban couple who gets thrust into this uh, extraordinary, crazy, wild life for about a week and then it's all gone for the rest of their lives. And I don't know, it's just that's something which has been done over and over again. And this movie doesn't really do anything to add on to or make it terribly unique or original. Which is a really big disappointment and it's why the film is ultimately kind of boring. It does pick up when it has the action scenes going and when um, just fun, exciting stuff is going on. The last maybe 20 minutes of the film are probably the best moments of the film because there's stuff actually happening which is interesting. But the rest of it is just, again, kind of boring. It doesn't really do anything terribly unique. It's not really going to capture your interest all that often. I honestly found myself nodding off a few times just over the course of the film because I was just really bored with what was going on. So this film, along with Jack Reacher, it's just a, it's just an okay movie. It does what it needs to do for its audience, but it kind of tells its basic story. But it doesn't really do anything outside of that to make itself stand out amongst the vast amount of other films of this particular nature, which we have. But guys, those are just my thoughts. Let me know your some comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you like it more? Did you like it less? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, bringing people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.